Hi guys, Veggie Gamer here, just to say that uh, over on the Patreon, we're actually into Season 4 now, and so if you want to be uh, checking out uh, the Patreon, you can get access to all the episodes that are on there, all unedited and so on. We've also done the, the movie and the pilot episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and so if you're interested in checking out more Buffy reactions straight away, you can back the Patreon for as little as you want and get access to everything that's on there. Um, also, with a little um, addition here, because it's season four of Buffy, we're now starting Angel as well. And so the big announcement here is that we've actually started to post two episodes per week now. And so that means that some weeks we'll be getting two Buffy episodes per week. Some weeks we'll be getting two Angel episodes a week. And, and then some, some weeks you'll be getting a Buffy and an Angel episode a week. And so, you know, it's going to be a lot more regular now on the Patreon is what I'm saying. And so if that's something you're going to be interested in, go and check out the Patreon, guys. You get access to everything on there for as little as you want. I'll let you enjoy the video now. Enjoy. Hey guys, Reggie Gamer back and I'm an idiot! Um, okay, we'll get to this moment, guys, but we're back to watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If you're watching this on the Patreon when it's brand new, I'm so sorry it's a couple of days late, guys. Um, last episode was really good, guys. It was certainly a different pace of episode. It's certainly more, um... I, I don't want to sound uh, teen, teen drama. I don't want that to sound nasty. What I'm saying is that most of the, most of the episodes are very, very silly that we've watched so far. Yeah, that last one... Was a lot more, um, what's the term? So, like, you know, a, a lot more based, a, a lot more sensible, I guess is probably the best term. And obviously, we had a, a, a lot to learn about. Oh my goodness, my camera's frozen with my face doing a really weird thing. That happens sometimes, guys. I've been very lucky that it hasn't happened during a movie reaction because that would be bad, obviously, with you know how long those videos actually are. Um, yeah, it, it, it seemed a lot more, um, I would say it's the first main storyline episode where, like, that the entire episode is about stuff which will be important going on with the show, if you know what I mean. I, I love the stuff between Buffy and Angel, guys. Obviously, like I said, lots of sexual tension throughout the entire episode, but, um... It's this whole forbidden love storyline again. Now, the reason why I'm an idiot, guys... And I guess, in a way, it means that she's an idiot as well? Maybe? Um... Or maybe, okay, so at the end of the last episode, I was like, oh, hang on, why has he got the crucifix, uh, crucifix mark? Does that mean that when, when he had the crucifix before, it used to burn it into him? But wait a minute, he had his shirt off earlier on, and we didn't see it then. Oh, maybe that's uh, him, like, showing part of his vampiric uh, side, showing the damage, whereas he can hide it by being the human side. I'm an idiot, guys. Buffy kissed him whilst wearing, <laughs> whilst he's wearing the crucifix. You guys pointed that out. And yeah, which means that Buffy either forgot or was doing it on purpose. I'm guessing that she'd forgotten that she was wearing it. Uh, uh, it would have been nice if but, but just before kissing. This is a lovely scene, guys. Uh, just before kissing and just like, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> Take that off first. I could sound a bit inappropriate in the middle of the club but um yes so that's why he had the crucifix mark i have all these like notes down here like putting out that maybe it's some sort of like crazy you know some crazy theory about why it happened and everything but no it's because she was wearing a crucifix whilst it was whilst uh whilst she kissed him and also he gave her the crucifix in a box and so he would, he, he never actually wore at any point anyway. And so I got a little bit confused. I apologize about that. Now we have um, Colin essentially being, um, I was going to say the the master's number two, but quite frankly, Colin genuinely seems like the, the, the father figure out of these two. And so Colin is now, you know, the master and the master is the uh, second in command from what, I, <laughs> from what I can see in that last episode. But very, very good. Like I say, a good change of pace. Uh, especially after the pack, which is just so stupid. It's, uh, I mean, I loved it, but it's so stupid. You had this episode, which was a lot more controlled and no silliness. And so it's great that it can have this spectrum of like different, uh, different kinds of, um, different kinds of episodes, guys. And now we're getting into episode eight. I haven't got its, uh, its name up, but, um... I robot you, Jane. I mean, that's. I don't know what to theorize from that, guys. That's a strange title. I don't think that she's going to be fighting robots because that's nineties robots would be interesting to see. Hugh Jane, obviously a reference to Tarzan. Oh, I have no freaking clue. 
I have no clue, guys. I really don't. It'd be nice to get a Willow-focused episode, you know, because I, I don't think that we've had one with just actually been focused on her. We've had Buffy episodes now. We've had a couple, in fact. We've had Xander episodes up the wazoo, whatever that means. I don't know why by that sentence, but Xander seems to get a lot of episodes where the storyline kind of focuses around him. I would say, like, um... Uh, the Miss French one, and uh, obviously the Pact uh, as well. Um, Giles as well. We 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 had one which was semi like um, revolved around him, where he actually you know that that was the that was Miss French as well, where he really saved the day, wasn't it? No, that was Witch. Okay, ignore me, guys. Let's go with episode eight. I Robot, you Jane. I have no idea what that title means. Oh, start off in Italy. Okay. Never been. Carlo. Nice hair, Carlo. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this one's starting off. Oh, it's this. These guys on the intro. This isn't the master, is it? I think this is something else. <laughs> oh, Gordon Bennett. That'll. That'll hurt. I like this guy's outfit. There's the bit on the intro. Where's this guy? <laughs> oh, is he being imprisoned in a book, maybe? And chuck it on fire. Oh, nice illustration on the front. <laughs> um, Moloch, okay. Yeah, that's his name. And then it gets opened by Xander. <laughs> oh, no, Buffy! Oh, it's the mother's! Oh, great. A book. Yeah, the mother's collections. Uh, oh, maybe not. I haven't gone through the new arrivals. Who let these kids in? Thanks, Dave. Willow. This is our library. Skim it. Scan it, Rupert. That's scan it. Oh, shame. Of course. Mother's calendar. calendar. I'm sure your computer science class is fascinating. One can survive in modern society without being a slave to the uh, idiot box. Oh, I like that. The printed page is obsolete. Information isn't bound up anymore. Whoa! The only reality is virtual. You're not jacked in. You're not allowed. You're jacked up. Hey, no, don't even say that. Why is he so angry? Fritz is a Fritz psychopath. Is a little strong, but he does have a point. The last two years, more email was sent than regular mail. Oh yeah. A fact that I regard with genuine horror. <laughs> those microphones. Oh my god, those microphones. I'll be back in the Middle Ages. Did you ever leave? He's happy there. Yeah, okay. I, you know what? I quite like this Miss Calendar. Presumably she's a teacher. She IT teacher, maybe. Oh, Willow. Oh, Willow. Is this, oh, it's gonna, I said it would be nice to have a Willow episode. Is it going to be... Oh, I mean, it looks like she's going to be opening to gates of hell. Well, that's our balls. Nice one, Willow. You've killed us all. <laughs> I love Willow, guys. Great jumpers. She's got a great selection of jumpers. Oh, God. Willow. Okay, so Miss Calendar's obviously going to be someone. I'm pretty sure that she called uh, Giles Rupert. Did we know Giles', Giles first name before now? I don't, I don't, I, I'm not sure. Fritz is terrifying. I'd imagine, you know what, if I, I think Fritz is going to have something to do with this demon coming out. Just this scary guy. Demons. That's kind of a step up from vampires, really, isn't it? I mean, demons are like... Much worse, right? Weird seeing other students in the library. Very strange. It's not, it's not right. It's not right. What was up last night? I tried your line like a million times. Oh, I was... I was talking. Oh no. I sort of met someone last week after we did the scanning project in the library. Last week?! You are a thing of evil for not telling me this right away. Mm. Well, I wasn't sure there was anything to tell. So smart, Buffy, and, and he's romantic, and we agree about everything. It's the spawn of the devil. What's he look like? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, weird, back then, this would have been very strange, but obviously now it happens a lot. This I'm terrified of Fritz, guys. He's scarier than the master. Oh, my goodness, these computers. He's so sweet. What should I write back? Well, I think it's really great that you have this cool pen pal, but... Don't write that. Don't you think you're rushing all into this? I'm thinking of you, too. No, that's incredibly stupid. 
Xander who? Oh my goodness. So th they scanned the book and the... Oh, that's cool. That's bizarre, but cool. And that's why the text disappeared, because there's no now another copy of it. That's bad that this thing is now on the internet. Oh, no. Oh, she's... Uh, her birthday is four days after mine. Oh, no, it changed. Wait, what? Her birthday changed. What if you guys get really, really intense, and then you find out that he has... A hairy back. Hey, he doesn't talk like somebody who would have a hairy back. <laughs> hey, Fritz. Fritz is terrifying! He's so angry! Um, uh... New project. Ooh, will I be excited? You'll die. Oh my Nazi goodness, Germany technology. Was a model of a well-ordered society? I didn't write that. Oh my god! This demon is doing evil stuff. This Malcolm guy, what's his deal? And tell me you're ah. not slightly wigged. Sure, he says he's a high school student, but I can say I'm a high school student. You are. You are. <laughs> okay, but I can also say that I'm an elderly Dutch woman. You are. He could be weird or crazy. He could be a circus freak. He's probably a circus freak. He probably is. Well, uh, axe murdered by a circus freak. Okay, okay, what do we do? Oh, there's got to be a clown episode. There has to be a clown episode. I'm Jack Tin. I'm Jack Tin. Oh no! Oh no! Is he writing Malcolm? Or, or Molak? 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 What? Nothing. You're having an expression. She is. <laughs> having an expression, that is amazing. I don't understand why you don't want me to have this. Bless! I thought you'd be happy for me. To meet him face to face. In daylight. In a crowded place with some friends. <laughs> Not a circus. Malcolm uh, said you wouldn't understand. Malcolm was right. Oh, good line. Good line, Buffy. Feel bad for Willow, but I mean, Buffy's being a good friend there. Need to find out who he is. Hey there, Dave. Anybody home? What is it? Well, you're a computer geek. Genius. Oh, charming. And, uh, I sort of have a technical problem. <laughs> Yeah, I have see, no Willow's idea. Got this boyfriend, Malcolm, and to tell you the truth, Leave I think... Willow alone. Dave, are you Malcolm? Of course not. Oh! Dave, what's going on? That's a pretty good assumption that she just had. I, I mean, she's wrong, obviously, but that's a very good assumption. That, that he could be Malcolm. No! This guy's terrified! I'm telling you, something is going on. Well, I suppose you could um, tail Dave, see if he's up to something. What, in dark glasses and a trench coat? Please. I can work this out myself. Dark glasses and trench coat, please. That would be amazing. Dark glasses and trench coat. Come on, come on. Yeah! That is an awesome look. Those are great sunglasses. I do approve. That security guard looks very suspicious. <laughs> Talk about looking suspicious. Uh-oh. Bye, mate. Oh, great. It's not Fritz again, surely. I wish it would stop all these close-ups on Fritz's face! He's scary! What do I do? You're too close! Oh, good luck, dude. Party. You may have a scary face, but that face is about to get kicked in. The Calax Research and Development, it's a computer research lab. Third largest employer in Sunnydale, taught closed down last year. What? Sander? You can have information sometimes. No! It's, it's just somewhat unprecedented. I can just tell something's wrong. My spider sense is tingling. Spider sense. Pop culture reference. Oh. Sorry. Yes, well, uh. oh, sh She's always right as well. Never felt this way about anyone before, Willow. Oh. Afraid I can't do that, Dave. Dave! That makes sense. Sorry. That's what Buffy doesn't understand. How comfortable you can make me feel. Buffy just makes trouble. That's why she got kicked out of her old school. Oh. Don't. How uh, did you know that? Well done, it's Willow. On her permanent record. Yeah, and how you read her permanent record. You must have mentioned it. Step away from the keyboard, Willow. No! I have to sign off. I'll talk to you later. Don't. Oh. That's scary. This isn't a fad, Rupert. We are creating a new okay. society here. In which people can be completely manipulated by technology. Oh man, this is ahead of its time, guys.
Your books have a great deal more to say than in any of your fabulous web pages. <laughs> web pages. This one doesn't have a whole lot more to say. No, not anymore, it doesn't. Making that connection. I like Calendar. Is that her name? What is it? Yeah, get to Buffy. Well, it's been so nice talking to you. That's it. We were fighting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like her. I, I, I hope that she's a recurring character. I like this dynamic between her and Giles. Dave. Hey, look, I'm sorry about yesterday. I... That shirt! My God! In the background. Oh, my God! Is looking for you. Good, I need to talk to her. She said she'd be in the, in the girls' locker room. Great. Thanks. Mm, very interesting that he's called Dave, guys. That's what I say about oh, I really can't do that, Dave. It's a reference to Space 2001, Space Odyssey. Which is about AI. Oh, Fritz. He's dressed as the guy from uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Fritz is actually very smart. And... Puppy, get out. Dave! Jump! Oof. My God. Dave, nice work. So, yeah. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. The project is almost complete. You won't have to do it again. The fact he's called Dave, I feel like, is a reference to Space 2001 Space Odyssey. I'm sorry. I've been a terrible person. Forgive me, Mom and Oh, Dad. what? No! Dave, get out of there! Ah, Fritz! Love Dave. No! I knew it. I knew that. Oh, man, that's dark. Buffy, get in here and kick his face in! No! Moloch, the Corruptor. Oh, Moloch. Very deadly and seductive Where's demon. Moloch? Preys on impressionable minds. Willow. Like Dave's. Dave and who knows how many others. Where was it? Uh, in a pile with others that were um, uh, scanned. Oh, of course she got out of the box, didn't she? Can we go and find Willow, please? It brought Moloch out as information to be absorbed. It's a cool idea. Okay, for those of us in our studio audience who are me, you guys are saying that Moloch is <laughs> What's our full four break? <laughs> oh. Stay away from Willow. It is none of your business. Oh, those graphics, guys. Where is Willow? And is Dave all right? I'm gutted about Dave. That's horrible. I'm going to check the computer lab and you guys call her home. Yeah, find Willow and hopefully find Dave. That's horrible about Dave, guys. I hope he's... That's dark, the fact it was writing his, his note, you know? Ah, uh, someone's gonna be right there. Someone's gonna be right there. It's Fritz! It's Fritz! It's not Fritz. Oh no! That's horrible. That really is, guys. That's actually really dark. Well, I wasn't busy either, so she's not online. 90s. <laughs> Giles, you need to come up with a way to get Malik out of the net. That's for a creature of the flesh. Then get Miss Calendar. You get it back in the book. How am I gonna convince her that there's a demon on the internet? Okay, fine. Then you can stay here and come up with a better plan. <laughs> Go on, Giles. Go and get Calendar. That's horrible about Dave, guys. I genuinely think that Fritz might be the scariest creature that we've had on this sh sh show so far. I almost feel like this should be shown in schools, guys, about the dangers of the internet, you know? Obviously, it's very dated, especially... At especially that thing about uh, the line not being busy, so she's not, so she's not chatting with Malcolm. That's a, that's an aged line right there. Dad, did you forget your keys again? Oh, I love that door, by the way. Oh, I wish they had mobile phones. No, Fritz. No more waiting. Oh God, he's full of his little lines, isn't he? I need your help. Something's got into the um, in inside. Um, <laughs> there's a demon in the internet. You're not gonna believe him. I know. Oh no, not calendar! I was hoping. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> Makes sense though, actually. That she would be a part of this. How exactly is that? Come on, there have been portents for days. Probably a, a mischief demon. It's Moloch. The Corruptor? Oh. oh boy. You don't seem exactly surprised by 
You think the realm of the mystical is limited to ancient texts and relics? The divine exists in cyberspace, same as out here? Ah. Uh, Techno-pagan is the term. <laughs> Techno-pagan? more of this than you'd think. Well, I can help. I think. You know how he got in? He was, uh, scanned is the term. And you want him back in the book? Yes, please. We need to get that, that ritual that those guys were doing. It's Calendar and I are uh, working to get Mullock offline. Here's a tip. <laughs> Hurry. Liking this team up with Calendar, guys. What the heck is that machine? Oh, gold. Oh, gold! What are we doing now? They're not going to implant Malcolm into Willow? Awesome! It looks like Fulgore from the Killer Instinct. He looks absolutely amazing. I love it. Willow. Oh my god, he's cool. <laughs> he looks ridiculous, but cool. I love it. Everything I've... flows through me. This is so 90s. I know the secrets of your kings. It's a straight up robot, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Fritz is out of there. Oh, God, and Venice. Can you dig a tunnel, Xander? Here they come. I love the fact that Xander goes along with him, even though he doesn't have any particular skill. I think that's so cool. I don't understand. What do you want from me? You created me. Yeah. Took me out of the book that held me. Wow. I want to repay you. Oh, wow. Pretending you loved me? I do. Wow, guys. I think he actually does as well. This is a crazy... Oh, my God. That's amazing. You are mine. I'm not yours. I'm never going to be yours. Wow. Pity. By the power of the circle of <laughs> Taylor... He got over that quick. Oh, no! There's no one! Demon come! Come on, Charles! Yes! I command didn't even need your buffy. Oh, maybe we did. <laughs> oh god! That would be painful. Wait, what? Did he just shout Khan? It looks like they did it. It was all Calendar and Charles. I hope it so he's going back in the book, right? He's out of the net. Nice. He's bound. What about the text? What about the text? He's not in the book. Oh god. Where is he? Oh, he's, he's still got. Oh, he, he, so this is so he's so he's just here now. Then I guess. Just beat them up, Buffy. Let's go this way. Oh, he's back. I freaking love this dude. I freaking love this dude, guys. This is right up my alley. This sort of thing. Malcolm. Willow. Remember me, your girlfriend. <laughs> but maybe we can still be friends. Oh God, Willow. Good line, but I'd run now. No! <laughs> nice catch, but, uh, is that no? Catch. But it's enough to crush Oh, you. danger, danger. Take your best shot. Yes, not the smartest thing in the world, yeah. <laughs> yeah! I freaking love this dude, guys. I think this is a one and done villain. I think it's a one and done villain. <laughs> keep that as a keepsake. I put it on my shelf. Good. Work cat. I hope Calendar's in it again, guys. She seems really cool. Welcome to my world. You scared? I'm remaining calm, thank you. <laughs> Found it among the new books, and naturally I thought of you. Cool. Thanks. Can't get out of here fast enough, can you? Mm -hmm. Even less anxious to be around computers than I used to be. Well, it was your book that started all the trouble, not a computer. Honestly, what is it about them that bothers you so Very much? Very true. Very good point. The smell. Smell is the most powerful trick oh. to the memory there is. Musty and, 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 and rich. The knowledge gained from a computer, it has no, no texture, no, no context. It's, it's there and then it's gone. It's cool. The getting of knowledge should be uh, tangible. It should be um, smelly. <laughs> it should be smelly. You really are an old-fashioned boy, aren't you? Well, I, I don't dangle a corkscrew from my ear. That's not where I dangle it. Okay, I'm not sure I got that one, guys. I apologize. I'm just thinking about Malcolm. 
Malcolm. Oh. Or whatever he's called. Just take right is under. What does that say about me? It doesn't say anything about you. Again, she's blaming herself. Did you forget the one boy I've had the hots for since I moved here turned out to be a vampire? What about Owen? What's Owen? Chop liver? Let's face it. None of us are ever going to have a happy, normal relationship. We're doomed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have ended like that. <laughs> oh, it's going to end like that. <laughs> yes! I'm filming way to end the episode. We're doomed. See you next time. What about Owen? Oh, it got completely denied. Okay, guys. That was... I... I really... I love Malcolm. I can't even start to express to you how much that I love that design of his armor was of him I should say so cool I definitely think that Dave was called Dave as a reference to I need to say this right because I always say it wrong 2001 a space odyssey which is a Stanley Kubrick movie about AI and so on I highly recommend it guys it's very it goes into AI in a fantastic way and this is like a movie from I think the 60s 70s. Then the rosters in it. So we're probably. It could be very early 70s, late 60s. I think it is a 60s movie, but it goes into AI in this fascinating way. And the voice that it had, that that Malcolm had, was very similar to Hal, um, the AI from 2001. Um, and one of the people that he interacts with is called Dave. And the most famous line from the movie is, I, I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. In fact, I was actually waiting for him to actually say that in this. So I think that Dave was called that for a reason. That was dark. But with, with the computer writing Dave's notes in front of him. I didn't want to say the word, guys. But, but uh, in front of him, um, whilst Fritz, Fritz, who's... Uh, thank, uh, I was going to say, thank God he's dead. That's terrible. But at least he's no longer in danger. It's probably the best way I can put it, guys. Because that guy, he had an evil, scary face. In a good way. In a very good way. Uh, yeah, he was terrifying. Uh, we have the techno-pagan Miss Calendar. We didn't get her first name, I don't think. Um, she seems really cool. I hope that we see her again. Quite frankly, her her classroom, we have seen as many different rooms in this show already, guys. I swear to God that that is the same room that um, where uh, Miss French was teaching as well. Same set, at least. But, you yeah, know, it's, it's fine. Uh, then again, classrooms t tend to look all the same, and we don't know. Um, having a, having an expression is an amazing term. I'm going to start using that. Actually, I think I, I, my I think my brother was saying that apparently uh, the term the big bad is actually from what originated from Buffy, and I swear I've already referred to the master as the big bad, so which is quite amazing. But uh, apparently that originated in, in Buffy. Um, I did, I've got down here, at some point we will have a clown episode. There has to be an episode with evil clowns, guys. There, there has to be. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. The line with Xander saying, um, <laughs> for the benefit of the studio audience, that, that's me. I mean, obviously there isn't a studio audience in, in Buffy, but that really did feel like a, a, a self-aware joke, right? It's like, well, I'm going to repeat the line just so everyone absolutely understands crystal clear what is going on. Much in, in the same way in the last episode where I said how Darla like really hit home when she walks into the house saying, thank you for inviting me into your house. Just to make it absolutely clear, everyone knows what's just happened. Okay, so I got completely confused because when, when Giles was uh, doing the ritual and it showed... Um, Moloch, which I need really called rather than Malcolm. Um, like, ah, oh, like that. I thought he went, Khan! Like the, the famous meme from Star Trek. But no, I think it was Giles saying command or something like that. I got completely and utterly confused. Um, I thought that, I thought this is a really cool concept for a villain, guys. A very dangerous one. Like, much more than... I mean, the Master is trying to do something, obviously, world calamity level. But this thing had, like, the nuclear codes. It was downloading, like, criminal databases and everything. Uh, from from what the news was saying, I presume it was uh, Mo Molak that was doing that. Um, 
I thought this was awesome. And it's a very important message, guys, about, you know, trusting people online and everything. Like I said, it would be good to, uh, at the time, obviously, because it's obviously very dated now, especially what Xander was saying about the phone line being clear and everything. Um, it's very important, guys, to, 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 you know, to not just trust in what the person is say, you know, who, who the person says they are online. And yeah, this is a very digestible way for people, for, for young people to to you know, to understand that moral. I said at the start it'd be nice to get a Willow episode, guys. We bloody got a Willow episode, and you got, again, she instantly blames herself about you know everything that's going on. Um, I wish that she'd just get with Santa. I'm hoping that happens eventually, guys. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I would like Miss Calendar to be back in it again because uh, I thought she was really cool and the the, the techno pagan I should say, uh, very useful, very useful. And so out of everyone that they've met outside of the main four, she's gotta be the best ally. She's gotta be, yeah. Still no uh, new principal by the way. Very interestingly, I'm sure that'll um. I, I presume someone else will come along eventually, but we have. Four more episodes left in the series, guys. We are a third way into the series, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I really liked this one. I thought it was a really cool idea for a villain. The fact that Willow scanned it, and so it moved from there, and then put it on the internet, which is like the worst possible place where a thing like that could could, could be, because it just could just expand. There was a moment where it showed Buffy's birth date. And I, I, I thought that maybe I, I misunderstood something, but I'm pretty sure that it just straight up just changed what her birthday was. I'm pretty sure it changed what, what year it was. Because I said that her, her birthday is like four days after mine. 20th of October, guys. I know it's coming up. Um, but yeah, that was strange. Maybe that's, maybe that's the version that I'm watching. Or maybe... Maybe there's more to it. This is going to be like the crucifix thing again, where I think there's some big conspiracy thing to it, but no, it's just obviously explained. But yeah, that was strange. Either way, guys, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I actually really did. I, you know what it is? I, I worry about ranking them, guys, because because I, which is stupid, because I know that you guys are are watching these for my honest opinions. I think this is one of the better ones, guys, just because I love the concept of Molak being scanned in and put on the internet and everything, contacting people who are very easily persuade, persuasion and everything. Uh, the fact that Dave, and presumably Fritz kept him, kept, 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 this, is, this, this is why it's good that we had Fritz looking terrifying at the start of the episode, guys, because it showed that he already is Molak was like the best thing that happened to him. It wasn't that Molak was controlling Willow. It wasn't that Molak was controlling Dave. Dave was following along until he wasn't. And then we had that dark scene, guys. Um, and so this isn't this isn't a being that just like it's not like the pack or anything like that where it takes over your mind. Everyone still has free will. It just so happens that Fritz's free will was very aligned with Molak's um, thing. And we lost Fritz and Dave. Bit of a body count in this one. No, we, we've had characters die before. I want to know more about that guy with the red shirt with the polka dots. Because he must be a demon. The guy that was behind Dave and Buffy when they were talking. There, there's got to be more to, to that person. No one would wear that shirt and not be uh, out for the destruction of uh, mankind. Um, I really enjoyed this one. Which I think is still possibly my favourite, but I feel like this one's up there, guys. I honestly do. So, let me know your opinions in the comments. What I really don't want to... What I really want, don't want to do is, like, you know, pick, like, the worst episode ever of Buffy and say, Oh, that's the best episode! But shame the rest aren't more like that. You know what I mean? And so I, I, I do worry about, like, you know, putting episodes on a pedestal. Molak's look at the end was so up my alley, guys. I can't even explain. I can't even express how up my alley that that thing was. It was so cool. And so just that alone, it looks like full gore from Killer Instinct, in my opinion. Okay, guys, love every single one of you. Please like, comment, subscribe.